Well guys, welcome to another Scrap and Irish video. And as the title will say on this one, where is the gold in hard drives? So this is going to be the first video of a series of videos because again, I get um, comments and I get uh, emails from subscribers and non-subscribers too, just people in passing in general, and they may comment where is the gold in such a Is there gold in this? Where is it in that? Where is it in the other? So I decided to do a little series of videos where I'll be looking at where can you find the gold material, not the actual gold itself, but more the material which can be refined later to the gold. But some of it is quite easy to spot on boards, it's in hard drives, some of it's a bit harder. So let's get into it straight away. Um, so essentially, you will have a few different types of hard drives. So that says faulty, so take it off. That's why I have it, because it's faulty. So you have, again, another one that says faulty. So let's just rip it off. So here, essentially, if you're looking at them two hard drives, you would think two hard drives more or less the same. But the main difference is the way they are connected to your computer. So we have your IDE connections, and we have your SATA connections. So they're the two first main differences you're gonna notice on hard drives that you'll be picking up um, on the thing. Now they have progressed and we have a SATA solid state drive. So again, we'll have a look at that and we'll compare it for gold content and is it worth taking apart and stuff like that. Again, I'm gonna say everything's worth taking apart. And then the other type of hard drive you're gonna get is gonna be your laptop hard drives, your little, mainly found in laptops, uh, have found some of these smaller ones in some of the newer, smaller PCs, may have them in there, or little workstations, stuff like that. So, I'm not gonna spend time showing you how to take this apart, because again, it's just a few screws to take it apart. It's mainly the boards we're gonna be looking at on this for the gold. There is some visible gold that I'll show you in a second, which isn't on the board. Uh, which I do remove from the hard drives as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of the camera. We get a close look at these um, hard drives and I've taken a few hard drives apart of course so we have some boards to get a closer look at. So let's go and have a look at these. Okay so the first one I'm going to have a look at is the IDE connected ones. So essentially this is what you get when you take your hard drive apart um, on it. Now, um, so first thing you can see, if I can get that to focus, there we go. The first thing you're gonna see is gold plated pins, gold flash, gold plated, whatever you want to call it. So that will be your first source of gold on here to remove is them. And you can remove your uh, pins and you can deal with them, which you will see in later videos that I'll be doing. This is more just showing where and what can be found on these um, boards. Then, as I turn over the board, again, the first thing that catches my eye again is the gold flashed pins. So essentially, there we go. There's our two first sources to tell me there's gold on there. Now, there is more gold here, but it's hidden. So essentially, most of these chips will have gold bond wires. Not all, but most will have gold bond wires. So from every one of them wires running through into the center, you have a good chance of getting a gold bond wire in there. So again, they add up. So I will be removing them chips and dealing with them at a later date for my gold recovery. Now. I don't just go after the gold, I go after silver or platinums or whatever else. So precious metals essentially. So what else is on this board that we could say could be used um, for gold recovery or precious metal recovery? To be more precise, I'll just get a screwdriver for a second, make it easier to point these things out. So where are we? So if we look closely at the board, you will see these MLCCs. So depending on the age of the MLCC, there, there could be a chance of silver. Newer ones, very slim chance, but the older stuff, again, if it's a high-end item, there is a better chance of getting it in. So you can see here, we have our 
MLCCs, which I will remove again for silver processing. Again, it's a precious metal and I go after the precious metals. I also remove these tantalums because there is a value in tantalum capacitors, but I haven't discovered a way of processing them yet properly. So at the moment, I'm just removing them and not doing anything with them. But hopefully at some stage we will. So again, we have another one up here. But as you can see, that is the main what I will remove from this board. So again, that's the IDE board, um, which as you can see, looks like that before it is removed. So we'll put that aside. What I, oh, before we put that aside, I did say there is other gold that I will remove. And if you look underneath here, you can see that this has gold on as well. So that can be lifted off and that can be treated, that gold can be treated the same way as I treat my um, trimmed fingers from RAM, essentially, into copper chloride, release the base metal to release the, or to dissolve the base metal to release the um, gold from it. So then we move on to our SATA. So again, the first thing you notice there, again, is the gold. So again, that can be cut off, removed, and put in. Don't get carried away, guys. That's not gold, that's brass. But again, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. Um, so there you have your gold, which can be again treated the same way as you would treat your gold from your RAM fingers or your um, graphics card, stuff like that. Any of them trim gold fingers, you can do that, or even your ribbon wire with the gold flashing on it. So again, we removed the board. This is our board. Again, first thing you'll notice, gold flashed, so they can be removed for your gold recovery. Um, on it, on this side of the board, nothing else there of value. Again, we turn the board over and we have our chips, which again, I will remove for, um, just take it off so you can see that's a chip. So them chips will be taken off. And again, we have some gold flashing along here. So you can go to the trouble of cutting that out if you want to get that gold flashing from it. It all depends what level you want to go to on it. And again, we have our MLCCs, which can be removed for the silver, hopefully. Um, and something else on here, you can see more little pins that are gold flashed. So uh, again, that can be removed uh, for the um, the gold recovery. So again, remove the chips, remove the MLCCs, I'll remove them pins. I can trim around wherever there's gold flashing if I want, and I can put them in. And again, the gold pins, and not forgetting the gold along here. So that's what's on the SATA one for precious metal recovery. Then we have our laptop board so again take that off sometimes you will find these are gold flashed not all the time but sometimes they are so again keep an eye out for that can that be removed easy put in with your gold flashing the board itself from the laptop again similar to any SATA you have your pins along here remove the pins collect them up again quantity is what you're going to need to get any gold recovery it's not like Get these few pins, dissolve them, and there we go, rake of gold. Ain't gonna happen. On the back, again, we have our chips, which will have the gold uh, bonding wires, hopefully, inside. And again, some very small MLCCs, and again, some more gold flash connector pins, which are there. And what else I've noticed on this one for you is over here, we have a gold band crystal oscillator or ceramic oscillator, gold banded. So there's a gold band that runs around there and inside of this is another bit of gold flashing inside. So again, can be, uh, remove them, collect them up, and uh, hopefully at some stage I'll do a video. I'm collecting them up at the moment and hopefully I'll do a video on it. Um, so that's where you stand on that board and what I will take off that board. Now, the newer, Laptops, newer computers will have a solid state drive inside them. So what is your solid state drive? Essentially, it's a hard drive again, 
but rather than any moving parts, there is no moving parts inside the drive. So all the information is held here. So bangs and rattles don't affect it as much as your normal um, board will. So again, what are we looking at? We have gold flashing on the pins, same as the um, SATA connector ones. So it's the same essentially, SATA connected. Um, again, we have some small MLCCs, some nice, um chips again some gold flashing here here up here around there so we have a bit of gold flashing on the board and again like the laptop one i showed earlier we have a gold bond or a gold banded uh, ceramic oscillator so again it has a ceramic base on them and um you will find gold in them weight quite weight wise compared to recovery will be similar to your gold corner BGAs. So if you had a pound gold corner BGAs, people are getting on average maybe two grams of, uh, two to three grams of uh, gold from it. So again, if you have a pound of these, you will get two to three grams of gold from your recovery on average. Now, on the back of this one, compared to a lot of the other ones, you have some more chips. So again, we get the benefit of the chips again some MLCCs and uh, some more little chips and MLCCs on it. So all in all, the chips are the main and the little connector on this. Now, I said I'd come back and talk about the actual hard drives themselves as well. Also guys, don't forget that it's great to get the gold recovery and that's what a lot of people of us are in for in this, for in the e-waste, but you also have your aluminium, which save it up, cash it in, if you're not looking for the money you want to more use it to buy chemicals for your gold recovery buy jars glassware whatever you need use the money that sort of way to buy the um thing so let's finish up and just review right guys so that's more or less it for the video as a quick review chips mlccs any gold flash connectors um gold pins that's what i'll be looking for that's what i'll be removing from the hard drives I'll be doing. So again, the MLCC, stuff like that, um, is, is another way of collecting up stuff that can be processed at a later date for your silver, your platinum, stuff like that. So I'd say MLCCs, the older ones, would have a certain amount of platinum and silver in them. Newer ones, silver, but getting less and less of them with silver and very little of the new ones have platinum metals in them anymore. So again, platinum is, down as a precious metal but it's more industrial precious metal so again it's more for used in the um, in the computer world rather than actual jewelry and stuff like that our value as in a bit of gold bar not many people you'll see will have platinum bars as a investment for the future but it's there it's going to be something i'll try and recover at some stage on my videos but this is the first one in the series of where is the gold so where is the gold in hard drives that's where I find the gold in hard drives. Again, have I missed something there, guys? Are you finding gold or precious metals somewhere else that I haven't pointed out there? Um, sometimes you might get silver flashing on the boards, uh, but again, it's not going to be something I'm going to go after because it's a lot of work getting the boards clean enough so that you don't have tin solder and stuff like that mixed in when you're trying to recover some precious metals, especially gold. As we all know, tin will play hell with your gold recovery. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Really do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, why not subscribe? Put down in maybe something you want me to scrap out and show you where the gold is in there. Um, I'll say I have a few of them coming up in the next couple of months of videos of where is the gold um, in different types of stuff from laptop boards to uh, computer boards to PlayStation boards, stuff like that. So um, we'll hopefully and hopefully we'll get some gold recovery videos done at some stage before the year is out. And um, also my other scrapping out videos at the moment, trying to get through all the scrap that I have to build up. So copper and aluminium and stuff like that. Again, I use that money and I will cash it in to buy chemicals and stuff for my gold recovery. So um, as always, thanks for watching. Why not consider giving it a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing?
would really appreciate it. Um, not mandatory, but always nice if people subscribe. So until later, guys, keep safe and um, keep on looking for that gold. It's in the boards. Don't tell everyone. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.